not Ukrainian. I'm not even Ukrainian American. I'm here because I realize you don't need to be related to the people who are suffering to feel it. You just need to be a human being. But what I'm really here about, I don't pretend to understand all of the internal dynamics in Ukraine. What I understand are American interests. And America has a national interest in what happens in Ukraine for two reasons. The first, we gave our word. We promised to guarantee Ukraine's borders. It, what are we saying to the world? That our word is worthless? We have to stand by our promises or we can never negotiate with anybody in the future. We will just destroy what is left of our credibility around the world. We will be a laughing stock. The second reason why it's a vital American interest to not let this annexation at the point of a gun happen is because of why that agreement was signed in the first place. Because Ukraine agreed to give up its nuclear weapon stockpiles that it had inherited from the downfall of the Soviet Union in exchange for our guarantees. How then, if we allow this to happen, how then do we, do we go to Iran or any other country that is seeking nuclear weapons and say, you can't have those, you shouldn't have those, depend on the international community. The message that we're saying to those countries, like Iran, is that if you don't have nuclear weapons, you're going to get stepped on, and nobody in the West is going to lift a finger to help you. The implications of that, of that are just too horrifying to contemplate. This isn't a Ukrainian problem or a Russian problem, or it is a global problem. And if we're going to solve the problems of the world without global war, then we have to start now. We have to stop what's happening there now. Thank you. Glory to Ukraine!